And just like that, it has turned into a frozen tundra up here in Fargo, North Dakota. We're, we're here this morning at the Royal Liquors. All these places look like they're giant barns of liquor. So it's super exciting to go in. I'm gonna go check this guy out. Here's that Hirsch again. I haven't seen a ton of that lately, have mm -hmm. you? The Horizon and the... Yeah, I don't even want to know. Bivouac? <laughs> Bivouac? The Middle West. Double cask collection. Oh, that's interesting. Sherry cask finish, six years. Have you seen this before? Uh-uh. Corn, wheat, rye, and barley. I'm trying to see where it's distilled in. It says in the bottom, originally distilled and bottled by Middle West spirits. Ohio. Oh. Interesting. Huh. The classic Bowman Brothers. That thing's been popping up everywhere. Here's a Belmead. Not the right one, right? No. Darn it. Not the reserve. That place we were at yesterday. Or no, the place we... The video that went out yesterday. They have two left. Oh. You got the Old Forester lineup. The whole thing. Classic. That would be a great, awesome gift to get someone. Even if you That'd can find that. It'd be an expensive that, gift. It'd be an expensive gift. You can gift. find that little one. The little guys. That's where it's at. Look at this. This is kind of cool. Never seen that. The taste. Oh. Interesting. The taste of redemption. There's nothing like a good old. Soko. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, look at that maker's bottle. That's cool. Oh, that is cool. Limited edition bottle. Just good old. Fashion makers, though. Just the real deal. So, a holiday, holiday yeah. version. I like that. They're good with their marketing. Fun. The devil's cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, gee. The High West collection there with the campfire. Somebody was saying they were going to be doing away with campfire, but I keep seeing it popping up big time lately. Templeton Rye and the old. This looks like the last one, the last bottle of the old bottle. And then they're gonna be on to the new ones. Yeah. New roof. Wow, Kansas City whiskey. J. Ryder and Co. Huh. Just your classic, uh, classic collection there. Yep. Silver Bell. Alan Jackson. Uh, one of those uh, celebrity whiskeys. Yep. Bourbons, Wasn't this whatever. Bernheim one that we had with the seven? We guys had the cask it? strings one. And it was like it was really good. Com. Then that's just their regular. Are they all weeded whiskeys? Even that I one. I don't know. The one that we have is. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nice. Indeed. We'll have to see if they have any allocated stuff that they keep. Anymore. This one's crazy. Yeah. We have to look more into them. Hints see what that's of, all about. Hints of vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Just look how giant this place is. Yeah, it's huge. Super high ceiling. Looks like they just built a barn and then threw a liquor store in it. It's the best ever. Okay, this sounds so good. Sun blackened Spanish Solera sherry casks that share notes of cherry, plum, dates, and dark chocolate. Whoa. Wow. That does sound good. That sounds pretty tasty. It better be for 90 bucks. Yeah. If anyone's ever had it, let us know. Let us know what you think. Oh, looks like they have a gloss hog. This is the Ten Commandments. 
Street Rye Whiskey. Just in case you were wondering, it's still a frozen tundra up here. And now we're at the bottle barn. A lot of scotch and Irish whiskey. Wow. Just straight up wow. We still gotta try this guy someday. I wonder what this King Ale's End of the Third's all about. Stranahan's. I've seen this a couple times. Yep. I've seen these two for sure. I haven't seen that middle one. And you've got the old High West. Again, campfire everywhere. Oh, there they are. Blade and Bow. This is one kind of like Blanton's where you have to collect five keys. Um, so there's five different, even sorry. like this. Two different keys right there. And they're all numbered. Are they a single barrel or I don't small know. batch? What is it? Oh, looks like a small batch of some sort. Maybe not. You get all five keys, you take them down to the uh, distillery, and you get a gift. Look at the Bowman. You got the Bowman Brothers, and then this one, pork yep. barrel finish. Yep. Same, same thing though, huh? Generally, I see them most of the time together. Oh, old granddad, 114. For all you old granddad lovers out there. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, that's slow and low. I thought it was another blade and bow thing. Slow and low, rock and rye. I think we've seen that one. That one's a dusty bottle. Must not move too much. Very cool. And you got the old Jim Beam Red Stag. There's your silver belly again, and then blackened. I think this is the Metallica one. Maybe not. We still only saw that one Sonoma finish. Yeah. It's been the only one. These guys seem to have a little deeper collection of Wonder. stuff, mm -hmm. of everything. Yeah. Compared to the last spot. Sure. The Royal. Ooh, a lot of Uncle Nearest. And the rye. The last one did have the holiday makers, though. There's that Mattersons, or Matt, yeah. We saw that one at Mattersons. We saw this one at St. Paul. It was interesting. Oh, look at all the Breckenridge ones. There's Ooh. four. Rum cask finished. Port cask finished. And then a high proof. Huh, that's cool. That is cool. Very cool. A high rye bourbon. Aged for a minimum of three years, then finished in port casks. Old scallop. Here's the uh, Ambler. Middle West Spirits again. This oh. one's a straight wheat whiskey. Wow. Small batch. We really gotta look into that Middle West. Yeah. I've heard of it before, but I haven't really looked into it. There's the Bradshaw. Nice. And you've got all your old smokies down there. The flavored twisted tea. What's that? There's your Elvis midnight snack. This is interesting. Peanut butter, banana, bacon flavored whiskey. Oh wow. My gosh. We are really uh, we're stretching here. We are stretching. Wowzers. A little uh, old elk line up here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Batch six. 
a new cigar cut. The Island Blend. And this is last year's Infinity Blend. What's this? Oh, it's finished. It's a cocktail. It's a okay. hat, yeah. Cool bottle, matte black, I like that. Glen Fargo. A double barrel. Hmm. Fargo, North Dakota, lies the bend of once of what once was ancient glacial lake. Something, something. So that is made here. And you got these guys again. Yeah. A horse soldier. I feel like there's some story behind these ones. The United States of America was forged by pioneers, old trailblazers, explorers, and warriors. In the American spirit of adventure, we proudly present horse soldier bourbon whiskey. Interesting. I love the bottles. Mm -hmm. Here's all the Thomas More. Mm. Cognac, Madeira, Merlot, and Sherry. $25 off. Dang. Then you've got the rabbit hole. Very cool. A lot of whistle pig. Oh, there's the boss hog again. The Ten Commandments, one in the 18 year. Nice. 400 and 700. Hot diggy. Oak Needham. Lots of those. Not seen that many before. Haven't tried it though either. It's gray label bourbon. What batch is it? Five. See, it's hidden in the uh, right oh. at the end of the label there. You can see it. Same? That's Dove's Hill. Oh. 11? Batch one. Oh. Interesting. There's our uh, Far North. Just the straight bourbon whiskey. And then you've got the rye finished in cognac casks. Incredible. And you got four roses, of course. You want that Calumet vibe? Yeah. Just checking them out here. Eight year. Fifteen year. And oh, this is a blend. Right? Fifteen and eight, yeah. What's this guy? Sixteen year? Wow. wow. Craziness. Classic wild turkey, you can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. At least I haven't been able to. We've tried. Then here's the uh, old Overholt. A $14 bottle that we donated 200 for. Is that what we got? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it was for a good cause. That's right. So. We're giving kids toys this Christmas. Well, another giant store of stuff. It's just crazy how much stuff everybody's got. Maybe we can find a uh, shelf of allocated stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to find a cheap bottle of this. Not because it's good, just because the bottle's cool to have on the bar. <laughs> you know, you haven't had it, you might love it. I might, but. All the tequila connoisseurs say that they're like the ones that add flavoring and stuff to it, so it's not like authentic. Oh. But maybe it is, who knows? I mean, tequila has amazing bottles. There's so many that are so yeah. cool. Like, Classe Azul has the nicest, like those clay looking bottles. Mm -hmm. I'd love to get all those ones someday when we start the. That's right, you heard it here first. Rare Barrel Tequila. It's coming to a YouTube channel near you. Spoke too soon. 
There is the Christmas Maker's Mark bottle. The hunt in the frozen north continues, which brings us to Cantrimer's Liquor. Super cool. Boom, and we found it. Looks like they've got their own Maker's store pick. Classic start to the old selection here. Really gotta figure out if I wanna do this Jacob's Pardon. Give that a try. Small batch American whiskey. Got the Redwoods. Sonoma County, California. Widow Jane, 10 year. Garrison Brothers, the classic. High West, they've got a lot of the uh, High West up here. Every place seems to have the campfire, which is a very, very smoky flavor to it. Uncle Nearest Rye, I haven't seen that. In Minnesota, oh, Ben's Templeton. They got a ton of it here for him. Keeper's heart. Clyde, man, this is an interesting different bottle. 110 proof. Small batch and crafted. That's very interesting. Wonder if this is what the red labels turned into, if that's a completely different one. Very cool. Old riff, of course. Lots and lots of Woodford Reserve here, incredible. Oak and Eden, man, they're everywhere up here. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Kind of your classics in here, what's this? Boulder Spirits. Wow. These are cool. Rocky Mountain Glacier Melt. Corn rye and malted barley. Four proof on that guy. And they also have a American single malt whiskey finished in port casks. I hadn't seen this one before. Huh, oh, and they have a cash wise select one. Straight bourbon whiskey. Bottled in bond. Have you ever heard anything about those? I've not. First time I've ever seen them. Classic Knob Creek lineup. No Knob Creek 12, though. What about these guys? What's this? Cooper's Mark? I've heard the name, but I haven't seen them before. Looks like a bunch of uh, flavored, flavored stuff. stuff. Hmm. Oh, no, I've heard of like Cooper's. Cooper's something else. Maybe not that one. We tried this for the first time the other day, and it is really good. Is it? Especially if you get a nice high proof one. What's this one? 128? What's ours? I think it's right around, I think it's 129. That sounds delightful. Yeah, we should probably have some. We should. In certain... Doesn't Fireball come from uh, our friends at Buff Trace? Sazerac, yep, Sazerac Company right there. 
Um, a little bit of fireball with some Angry Orchard. Angry balls. It's Angry Balls, and it's really good. Super tasty. It's a good, uh, it's a good Christmassy uh, mm -hmm. beverage. Yeah. Really, it's really just a good fall beverage, but. True. Rock that during Christmas. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Ooh, there's some age and age down there for you. There's some Watkins. That looks like more kind of flavored stuff. Cinnamon apple and spiced Ooh, orange. Ooh, Jim Deem's in the, uh, I didn't know they were in the flavored game. Yeah, I think I've seen those ones. I know I've seen that, like, Jack Daniels is in the flavored game. I didn't know Jimmy Beans was in that, too. Crazy. Whistle Pig six year. Really good selection here. Really good. We decided to find a smaller shop here in the frozen, the frozen north. We've come to Bernie's West. Wine and spirits. See what they got. Curveball. The original barbecue whiskey. Sweet and smoky. <laughs> That's cool. Rope a dope. Mm. <laughs> Open dope. Interesting. Very. Ultra smooth, red hot. There was your typical smaller uh, liquor store here up in the north. That'll kind of wrap up this piece of it. There'll be more though, don't worry. So make sure that you like and subscribe don't forget to hit a comment if you saw something we should have gotten, but yep. we didn't get. Yes, please. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.